Hi everyone, it's Tuesday, it's time for some English, a little bit more of Marshmallows. Hopefully you enjoyed this one yesterday. Um, yesterday you were having a go at answering some questions about it, um, like we've been doing most Mondays. And today you've got another activity all to do with um, the boy from the Marshmallows film. So, um, before we get to the main event, the main activity... Um, here we go. A uh, couple of little start things for you to have a go at today. Um, this one is about uh, putting, making sure, I know I can't believe I've still got to say this, making sure that you put capital letters in the right place in your sentences. It is blowing my mind, guys, that I still need to tell you where to put them. You all know, whenever I was asking you this question in class, you always knew exactly when to use them. You'll know exactly when to use them now. You need to make sure you're using them correctly when you actually do your writing. Rah. Right, so a few sentences for you to have a go at. Um, what we will do is I'll read them out for you. Then you can have a go at them. Uh, write them out again with the capitals. Um, I'll pause the video and then I'll show you um, what you should have done. So the first sentence Billy came to our school today from Canada. He wants to learn French. Madame Klaus would be very pleased. Next one. We enjoyed visiting Prince Rock Primary School on Wednesday. And the last one. All the English supporters waved their flags when England scored a goal. So you've got three, uh, three sentences there. One of them's got two sentences in it. Um, uh, so what you need to do is put the capital letters in the right place. There is more than one in each of them. Please think about when capital letters are needed. Um, write them out again with the right capital letters. Pause the video. Have a go at that now. All right, so let's have a little look at what you should have done for our sentences. First of all, Billy. Billy is the boy's name. It's got a capital letter and it's the start of a sentence. Two reasons why it needs a, a capital letter there. Billy came to our school today from Canada. Canada needs a capital C. It is the name of the country, Canada. Then we've got a full stop. So that means we need a capital letter for he. He wants to learn French. French is the name of the language. So French is um, needing a capital F as well. Next up, we enjoyed. We, it needs a capital W because it's the start of a sentence. We enjoyed visiting Print Rock Primary School. That is the full name of the school. So each word in the name of the school needs a capital letter. It's like Wesley, Methodist, Primary, School. They all have capital letters as well. Um, and we visited it on Wednesday. Obviously, Wednesday is the name of the day of the week. So Wednesday needs a capital W as well. Last one, all. Start of a sentence, capital A. All the English, the people from England, need a capital E for English. Supporters waved their flags when England, name of the country, scored a goal. Well done if you've got all of them. If there's one that you missed, think about why you missed it. Um, and remember, that is, um, that is a rule. That is what you need every time. Some people might have not have put the full... Um, the full four capital letters for all the names of the primary school, maybe. Uh, but that's something that you need to think about in the future. All right. So marshmallows. Next job is watch the video again. Pause my video. Watch that video. Do it now. OK, hopefully you watched the video again. Maybe you spotted something different that you didn't spot last time. That's always nice when you see things like that. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do today. So we're thinking about the boy today. Um, there's only two characters in the short film, the monster and the boy. Today we're looking at the boy. 
And today you're going to design a social media profile for the boy. So social media is everywhere. Um, things like Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, um, TikTok. All these things are ways you can go online, talk to your friends, post your own pictures and videos and things about you. Uh, so we're going to be thinking about doing one for the boy today. Um, couple of questions to think about. Uh, you can have a little think about these first and then pause it and then I'll tell you. Um, a way to think about, will his social media profile be, will it be formal or informal? Something to think about. And also, what person will it be written in? Think about those two things. Talk to people in school, if you're in school, maybe someone at home, if you're working with somebody. Um, pause this, I'll tell you in a second. Okay, so our social media profile. It's going to be informal. Formal means when it, things are quite professional. If you were doing like a job application or writing a letter to Mr. Lonsdale or somebody, you might be quite formal because you want to seem quite proper. You want to say all the right things, talk the right way. Um, it's, it's something that's like a professional kind of thing to do. If you're informal, that's usually how you speak to each other, how you speak to your friends, maybe people in your family. You do it in an informal way, almost like you're chatting to people. You might use um, words that you wouldn't um, use if you were actually writing down a proper letter or a proper piece of work. Um, so it's an informal one because that's what the social media profile is going to be for. It's going to be for you uh, and for all your friends to see, or in this case, all the boy's friends to see. Um, and it says, what person will it be written in? It's going to be written in the first person. You are going to be the boy. You're not you. You're the boy. So we've done this sort of thing before when we've written diaries um, and you've become that character and you've wrote a diary entry for that character. This is a similar sort of thing, but it's just in a different format. It's a social media profile. You're writing about um, things for that boy, his thoughts, um, what he likes doing, what he's been up to. Um, everything is written in the first person for the boy. All right. And there's a picture of him if you weren't sure what it looked like again. So some things to think about. How old does the boy look? So think about how old he is. How old might he be? Because that'll affect the sort of things he can do, what his life's like, what he's up to. Um, and following that, it says, what might his interests be? What might he like doing? He, he's probably about the same age as you guys. So you might be able to put some things. Um, what clubs may he enjoy? So he might like going to certain clubs, being part of certain things. You look... Do look well, you used to before lockdown and things went to loads of different clubs after school and during school and, and all that kind of stuff over the weekends. So, what things might the boy do? Think about what he's wearing, maybe. Um, and then thinking about what his favorite subjects in school might be, who his friends might be, um, and thinking about what he's actually up to, maybe at this part of the film. Looks like he's he's in the woods somewhere. And New idea is the Padlet. So the Padlet is a, a way where we're going to try it this week, where you can um, share ideas with our class and Miss Harris's class. Uh, Miss Harris has put a, a question, basically this. She's put this on the Padlet. And then if you've got some ideas, it's always, the thing is now, if we were in school, we'd be sharing ideas, working with other people on our tables and then feeding them back to me. And then I'd talk about it and I'd write them all down on the whiteboard. We haven't got that now. You're all by yourselves. So what we think is the Padlet might be a really good way of sharing some ideas, helping people out who might be struggling a little bit and also just sharing things a little bit more. So this question is on the Padlet and you can um, type in some of your ideas on there. Um, and then other people can see him and we can share our ideas. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, we'll give it a go. Fingers crossed it works. Um, and hopefully that'll mean your writing, your finished product looks even better than it would do. Uh, and this is what your finished product's going to look like. It's going to look a bit like Facebook page. Um, so 
it's it's looks like that. There's a link for it on Class Dojo, so you can print it out if you want to, or you could just see it and then copy it if you're struggling with a printer. Um, so you can copy it and make it to look a little bit like that. Um, so you don't have to make it exactly like this, by the way. You can change it slightly if you want to. Um, but on there, we've got a picture. It's going to be a picture of the boy. Um, it says, draw your interests at the top. So draw some things that he might be interested in. Not you, what the boy will be interested in. Um, we've got name, his name. You, you make one up. Where he lives, make something up. Um, book. Basically, that should mean what book he comes from. Um, but in this case, he comes from a film. Um, picture places there for four of his friends. So you could draw four of his friends as well, which is quite nice. Um, we've got what's happening. So usually on these Facebook pages, you, people write what they're up to. So in what's happening, I want you to write me a short little paragraph there about what's happening in the film. OK, what's he been up to there? OK, then we've got um, you can draw four things he likes. And then at the bottom, you can do a short paragraph about me. Not about me, not about you, about the boy. OK, that's what you've got to remember. It is for the boy in the film. So that is something to have a go at. Um, please have a go at that one. As I say, you can either print that out using the link on Class Dojo or you can make your own. Either way, send me whatever you've done. And I don't know if we can, but I'll ask Miss Harris if we can. Maybe we could share some of them on the Padlet or just on our Class Dojo pages. OK, so that is it. Have a good go at that one. As I say, try the Padlet as well. Put some of your ideas up there because it'd be really nice to share some ideas uh, with our class and Miss Harris's class as well. Uh, that's it for now. Good luck with that one. I'm looking forward to seeing him and I will see you all very soon.